Alright guys, it's Roastoom here. So it's that time again. I'm going to play a new Megawad, but this time there's going to be a new twist involving higher stakes and hopefully less deaths. It's a new series and competition called the Blind Iron Man Open. Now Iron Man is something I've been meaning to do on the channel for quite a while now. In my previous Megawad playthroughs I felt things getting a little aimless, a little stale and non-consequential at times. And it's time I shook things up. And more importantly, it's time I got you guys more involved with my playthroughs. I want to make this all more interactive. I want us to get competitive. This series was heavily inspired by the established Iron Man contest threads on Doomworld, such as the DW Iron Man League and Iron Eagle competition. Alright, so now let's break down what this series is all about. So, if you want to join in... <laughs> So first and foremost, we have never seen or played this Megawad before. The Megawad must be played blind. It's alright if you've seen a few screenshots, that's about it. The goal is to beat the map safeless and without dying. That is the point of Iron Man, especially the safeless part. All maps are played from pistol start, and UV Max is also a must, whenever possible. There's always the odd map which uh, it just isn't feasible with, it's not possible but that's the exception to the rule. I also really want to just bring this series at least in line with contemporary um, Megawad playthroughs on YouTube. Um, I'm tired of like getting 40% secrets, 99% kills. We're going legit here now. So here's where I add a little spice to things. Every beaten map helps us move up the rankings. This is an open, this is gonna be competitive guys. Get into the rankings, here are the rankings. <laughs> now, the bottom rank is the lowly health bonus tier. This is for beating between 1 and 5 maps. So you want to get uh, to the entry level rank as soon as possible. Beating the first map is a priority. Next rank up is Stim Pack rank. This is for beating between 6 and 10 maps. Now I want to also just interject here and say you're moving up the rankings while you play the Mega Wall. It's like a progression system as well. Next up is Medikit ranking, this is for uh, beating between 11 to 15 maps. So we're kind of approaching that kind of 50% mark. And once you've breached that and beaten between 16 to 20 maps, you move up to Berserk rank. We're getting a bit more serious now. This is the rank I hit when I beat Plutonia. I barely got 16 maps done uh, with the conditions of this series. I'm quite proud of that. Uh, died on map 2, which was rubbish, but... Um, I've, I've played through a few like test megawads uh, to kind of warm me up for this, including Plutonia, uh, TNT, and Perdition's Gate. Speaking of Perdition's Gate, um, oh no, I only beat 20 maps in Perdition's Gate, so I also got Berserk for that. But the next rank up for beating 21 to 25 maps is Soul Sphere, and this is what I got for beating TNT. I almost got out of this rank. Uh, I beat 25 maps. I beat Stronghold, I beat um, Metal and Prison, I was really proud of beating those on the with the Blind Iron Man conditions, but I stupidly died on um, New Good Processing like an idiot, and I wasn't able to hit the second top rank of Negasphere. This is for beating between 26 to 31 maps. Um, this is really where elite players should be aiming for. Finally. It's an Involsphere. This is God rank. If you beat the whole wad on Blind Iron Man conditions, the whole wad, no exceptions, this rank is reserved for Doom Gods. So, guys, I can't stress this enough. By all means, join in. Anyone can take part. You can be a novice, you can be at the aforementioned Doom God, you can be excellent at this, you can be rubbish at this. Anyone who watches my videos, anyone watching for the first time, go ahead and take part. Play the Megawad. You can play it uh, at my pace. You can like kind of play along with the series. You can be competitive. You can see the maps I'm dying in. You can uh, maybe try not to die in those. You can try and just get a higher rank than me. You could just beat the whole wad before I do. You can play it in one sitting. Play it your way. This is an open and just try and get the highest rank you can. That is the fun of the series, that is the aim of the series. There you go. Oh, lastly, um, yeah, I'll do.
edit that part out. So we kick things off with Do Not Enter by JForce. So we've just finished a month-long poll where you guys voted on the next Megawad for me to play on the channel. It was great to see some of you guys get your votes in and it was Do Not Enter that came out on top. So this is a Boom and GZ Doom compatible Megawad released in February 2024 and this is going to be a tough Megawad to launch the series with. Well, it's probably not on par with Sunlust and Sunder, but let's be honest, many Megawads are not. Uh, this Megawad was inspired by challenging fan favourites such as Doom Zero, Deathless and Going Down. So I'm going to expect things to get very rough, especially in the later maps. As usual, I'll be playing this Megawad on Jeezy Doom. JForce mentions in the readme that Jeezy Doom offers the best gameplay experience with this add-on, and some features will only work on this source port, so Jeezy Doom it is. So I hope I can make this series fun, and more importantly, for those of you who've enjoyed my videos for the last year or so, I hope I can get you guys involved in my Iron Man series. I want to see your scores. I want to hear about who's at the highest rank, who's getting Megasphere rank, and hell, if any of you guys watching happen to be Doom Gods, maybe, just maybe, someone will get to the untold heights of Involsphere rank. Because let's be honest, it won't be me. I'll struggle to hit Soul Sphere. Anyway, with all that said, best of luck to those taking part. Let's rip, tear, and most importantly, do not die! Alright guys, so we're kicking off the Blind Iron Man Open right now. It's Do Not Enter by JForce. Let's go. This is the title map for map 1, Do Not Enter. 58 monsters and just the one secret. So yep, yeah, UV max life beginning now as well. It's just the one secret so it's not going to be too hard to uh, fulfill the conditions. Oh, to another thing, the midis are kind of a mix of Crunchy Nut 44 midis and Alfonso as well. So we've got midis from these two uh, midi artists. Nice. All right, let's go. All right, so yeah, I'm expecting to be hitting the very first rank after this map's done. Shouldn't be caught too off guard with things. We get a standard traditional difficulty curve there. Yeah. If not, God help me. Well, there is a Soul Sphere, but that is not available. Ah. That's an off color. It's an off color texture. I was expecting a secret, but no. Oh well. Okay, okay. It's aesthetically sound, uh, this first map. Good texture work, so... We're in the hands of a mapper who knows what they're doing. Okay, that was a little bit of an ambush. Ow. Got, got my first armor though, so should be alright. Okay, I've just ran back to the start. That's uh, poor form. Right. Oh, there's the exit. Oh. Kind of nothing too surprising for map one. Kind of hit scanner heavy, compact. Another thing uh, GeForce has mentioned is that a lot of the maps are like on the shorter side. So that's kind of good news because um, if I do happen to die, inevitable it will happen at some point. If I do die, then at least it's not too far back to go. So some pinkies have been unleashed now. Okay, so opening that uh, unleashed a bunch more imps. I'm actually almost out of uh, shotgun shells, that's not great. Oh dear, well, I have to pistol for a little while. It is only imps, so I'm not uh, too alarmed at that. Okay, these like side doors aren't opening. 
cool scenery outside. We've got like this like oil oil pool, <laughs> oil reservoir outside. So kind of an interesting take on a tech base going on. I like the lighting too, like this these light fixtures are cool. Uh okay. Didn't come in here yet. Oh, and a few more imps. Too many to go. And that opens those doors. Hang on. Well, I saw the doors open. Oh, it let me in here. Okay. Nice. Something else is lowering. Ah, we still don't get the Mega Spear, but this opens. Which reveals a switch. And bye bye Soul Sphere. Or is it? Oh, okay. And that's the secret. Alright. Again, map one, it shouldn't be uh, too hard to find a secret. I'll get some shells, thankfully. Uh, UAC Freight going postal since 2056. <laughs> nice. Ow. Okay, well, all that's left is to find the exit. There we go, folks. I'm not expecting... If, if you guys are joining in, I'm expecting everyone to get the entry level Soul Sphere rank with that one. It wasn't too, that wasn't too taxing. There we go guys, and that was map one. First of many. Beat it in just under five minutes. We'll get some, uh, we'll get some like of the, oh my god, that bunny music to end things with too. So that's the intermission music, that's pretty funny. Alright guys, let me, I mean, don't let me know the scores yet, like, unless you... <laughs> failed spectacularly on map one here we go guys hope you enjoyed the series uh, i'll be playing the next map very soon see you next time